Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I am Dr. Carrillo, and coming from Mexico City, and in special to other cities near to the to the Mexico City is Querétaro. I live and work in here. And uh, first, uh, I want to say thanks to the organization committee, and special to Dr. Bell uh, for his attention. Uh, I I want to explain to you what can we do with the that's a clinical trail in the special. Um, we working here, that is my hospital. And I have a connection with the, that's organization in the special Rekha Health Heart. Rekha Health Heart is the, uh, uh, the, the view impression 3D. And go to explain exactly what we're doing with that clinical trail. Uh, I'm working in that center. That center is my personal business. I work in only with my financials. Uh, and uh, I have a, a one limit, but uh, I go to participation that's investment. Well, um, it's very important uh, we review exactly uh, what happened in with uh, all that uh, studies to report uh, the results on the time uh, when concluded that uh, five million uh, total knee prosthesis uh, to the up to 20 percent of final results indicate no patient satisfaction. He said the no satisfaction is one problem in the world, and that is the proportionality is not good. Sometimes it's wrong. Um, we are not understanding the cause. And what that scouts maybe is the biomechanical uh, implications uh, for the placement of the biomechanical modification, uh, which uh, influence pain results, the speed, the good placement technique. I know the, the, the assistance is very different professional areas. I got to try and explain exactly what we uh, see ex uh, was, uh, in, the, in the practical uh, clinic. Now, uh, next Congress in, in, in next month uh, of uh, ICRS, got to have uh, one title very important. You see, is uh, I'm not ready for metal. That is the 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 the, the concept, and the ICRS is very very interested to understand today what happened with the patients to do that prosthesis and with more frequency in the knee. And now the, the study uh, of the cases is very important. Know exactly the stage of the disease in the very of each case. If we do not adequately translate the studies that support the actions, we cannot obtain uh, more adequate results. Maybe that is the, the, the circumstance to influence uh, in the decisions in, on the treatment with these patients. And now it's very important to analyze it, the overall health in general where it, the indirect conditions play the, an, an important role and are con constituted in the omics that any surgeon must consider seriously as the multidisciplinary management. That is very important to extend any cases because we see so the different forms to damage, uh, uh, and that will com compromise functionally from the spine to the foot. The arthroplasty will also modify the, and will affect the, the functional biomechanics after eye prosthesis. Uh, we're doing one study in, in our hospital, uh, and we try to extend the epidemiology and other diseases very important in have influence in dark results. Notice only the osteoarthritis, it's to the osteoporosis, and that's two diseases, uh, uh, chronic diseases have a very important influence on the results. And it's very important to understand the, the function because the change from the studies to the understand the damage of the structure and, the, and that is the cartilage. In the cartilage, we have uh, one uh, area very important. That area 
all the people speak is you have damage on your cartilage, but not understand what the problem is exactly here. That is in, in the area is uh, off to the to the cartilage gland, and uh, is uh, exactly when beginning the the area of uh, subcondylar bone in in the calcified cartilage, and all that elements have different uh, moments of comportment and have one point very difficult and, and complex uh, to use the uh, vascular necrosis. The vascular necrosis is one time beginning in one moment when uh, many surgeons put one prosthesis and maybe that support and the bone of the of the prosthesis have very not very good results and many times the that patients have pain continue uh, and have the insatisfaction. And it's very important to stand the stage of, of the pathological uh, uh, stage to the to the condition of the osteoarthritis. That is the normal level of the cartilage and the subchondral bone beginning to to lose the the conditions and having here have here one loss of the support on the bone and beginning the fragmentation and have one organization very different to the normal to the normal conditions of the bone and beginning the, the, the necrosis and finish with that images uh, on, on, on the ray X. Now what is the cartilage? It's very important remember so have uh, uh, one uh, uh, three types three times uh, and three components and they and with the components the collagen and the protoglycans are the more very important conditions and conform the the cartilage the cartilage of type gelin and that cartilage is specific and in the joints that is very important because many times conf confuses the, the the type of the cartilage and beginning to to doing works with different origin of, of stem cells. Um, this is two uh, very important remember the, the origin of uh, that cells and the lineage because uh, many times to try to use different types of stem cells and combine it with this one scaffold, the results are very different. And the influence in the cartilage is very important to know exactly that three components of the of the cartilage is a vascular, a lymphatic, and an aerial. In and that is one comportment uh, very important to the to the evolution in the response with the stem cells and the vascular and vascular excited process. And is to very important to understand the the exactly the volume of the of that cartilage in any ray x we need a uh, stand exactly the distance between one bone and other that space is very important to determine the characteristic to the cartilage and when beginning to have the first change on the degraded process and here see exactly where is the process to occur on uh, on osteoarthritis and the point here, the fibrilla uh, of cartilage is very important. That's that's fibers is very important to, to the form and how is the characteristic histological what uh, have the, the the new compound and support the the forces of the new charge change uh, charge of uh, biomechanical forces. And that is the reason because it's very important in stand exactly how can uh, comport the fluid, uh, the the fluid flow, and to that is uh, the condition to support the 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 condition to supervise the survival of the stem cells, and it's very important. Stand, we see, we see in one uh, arthroscopy that's imagined in, in one normal cartilage, but that is the condition of arthritic knee. But what happened? On the subchondral bone, what happened exactly uh, up uh, up to that uh, uh, structure? And two, it's very important to stand to all the patients have conditions very very different, and that's influenced in the cycle of the cytokines. The cytokines uh, have, you know, you remember 
one line specific to stem cells to procedure to of uh, of blood. Okay, and the other is exactly by the by the line of uh, the cells specific of the bone. That cells have many influence of different compound, uh, compounds, including the the immunoglobulins, including the the cells CD CD34, CD140, exactly all all, all that type of, of of stem cells, and have participation on that line. That is the blood uh, specific line. Um, finish in, on osteo in, in one condition of uh, cellulose madurate, and the other by the specific bone. But all the influence of pathologies influence here is the influence of the osteoporosis. Here to influence uh, the problems with the PTH of vitamin D or parathormone. All that conditions influence in the response of each stem cells. This is the reason because we can put any stem cell to any patients. We need to study to any patients and individualize the, the, the response to we, we can have because the structural condition of the disease is similar, but it's different, the action. And the results are convenient with the, that, that, that point. Uh, that's influenced much in the mesenchymal cells because that's the origin of the mesenchymal cells is the the feces of feces of growth, the the growth of sound, and that's remaining all the time and all the life. That's the reason because obtaining the, the stem cells to the metaphyseal uh, bone is very important. The contain of the cells, specific of the lineage in the in the stem cells of uh, of uh, the bone uh, that is very important uh, to compare the, the 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 condition from the type of the stem cells now to from from that that's a uh, conditions too it's very important to stand exactly the 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 situation of the each patients we need to study the the markers uh, blood markers to influence on the comportment of the stem cells. When the patient receives other stem cells of other type, by like culture or any expensive, any, any type of stem cells, or the same stem cells. Because when one stem cell is, is uh, uh, discontrolled with the, all that probability of that uh, other uh, diseases can influence in the results and it's very different the, the 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 condition of that cells when one pretend obtain one result. Now, uh, from obtaining the, the stem cells, we use it uh, the adult stem cells. Uh, we obtain to the to the bone and a specific uh, in, in in area of chirophano of surgery. We obtain the uh, the the the, uh, the 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 stem cells from the bone, and the tuta is very important. We can determine when and how much go to put into the the joint, or how much it put into the bone. That is the reason because two D results are very different on each patient because it's proportional to the affect that's in the levels uh, on the bone and in the cartilage, and that is very different. And today we can exactly say you put uh, any any concentration of uh, cells or any repeat uh, or repeat any times uh, the same dosage or other dosage. In one patient, we can def uh, have defined one how many times we repeat the procedure and exactly what is the volume to put into the can, uh, each area. We in the in the cent in our center, convenient with the time we have a uh, uh, 17 years working with the stem cells, and uh, could say I I take uh, the the specimen of. Uh, Exactly, then in the same patients, 
uh, to the iliac crest anterior. We not use it the posterior. We use it the anterior uh, iliac crest and obtain, obtain 60 milliliters, millimeters, and that's uh, processed in one centrifuge and obtain exactly approximately 19 cent, uh, millimeters. Uh, millimeters. E, um, that uh, is concentrate of uh, stem cells uh, of, uh, of bone and put into the, the joint or put into the bone. Uh, that is one uh, group uh, uh, to, to have more uh, much studies on uh, with that uh, example of stem cells. Uh, Philip Hernigo is uh, my professor and he has uh, one experience more of 5,000 houses cases and he having reports to problems of uh, uh, allergy or problems to to cancer. Is uh, is the more common problem to report in in other type of uh, stem cells applied applic to the patients, and the impression is uh, is uh, one of the new options uh, to regenerate the that lesions, and to to end to the decade uh, of 1960. Uh, uh, we have uh, the first report to the FDA after is it. Um, and how to begin to use exactly all those for, uh, types of uh, obtained to the stem cells. That is the harvest system. The harvest system is the, the system more used for us and our center to take that. Now, remember, it's very important to have uh, one clinical uh, diagnosis exactly of the condition to the patients, not this only so have the loss of the space on the joint. It's very important to understand uh, the influence to the church. We need to take uh, ray uh, uh, up, down, and, and rest, uh, and, and, and comparative uh, the results of the imagined and the, and the space to have. So have a, um, uh, one space low to two millimeters. We can use it when any treatment because have other compounds to influence to that. And that is here with uh, have exactly the condition to the classification of ESRIs because uh, that's classification on the only influence in the cartilage and non influence to the in the bone. And uh, the problem is how you see here uh, have a support and non support. Uh, it's the same patient, and the difference between one condition and the other is complete is uh, absolutely different. And that's uh, uh, and that's time you need to uh, uh, decide yes put or not put that. I mean, here you can say uh, with the support you see having the, the, the distance here, and that's that patient have how you see the alignment is very different. Is you put one treatment of stem cells or any uh, biologic treatment, the results are very 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 not, not good. Uh, we need to uh, have uh, in, in support or not, that's difference. Because if you remember, we need two millimeters minimum of cartilage. If you insist in put the uh, treatments here, we can have uh, very good results and the MER uh, is necessary to analyze the, the problem of your arthritis because your arthritis have uh, to the condition of inflammation and inflammation in fluid between the cartilage and the bone, and that is one other effect to to have uh, to no uh, not obtain very good results and the edema and the necrosis of vascular uh, per, sorry vascular necrosis influence very much in 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 the results and we need here you see the the term uh, of the lamination is beginning here and beginning because uh, broken the cartilage and advanced and the fluid is go out to the cartilage and that's influenced to deposit for out of the of the that area of the cartilage and when it's very important to understand exactly what happened in each patient uh, because if you put one treatment and only put the treatment on the on the joint, 
the results are are not good the results and it's necessary to obtain results in in the surface uh, of the one joint uh, in the time you see here 10 months more later to put the the administration have the good results and obtain that satisfaction in the patient that's very important to have uh, the condition of that patients to stop it and finish to continue uh, taking uh, analgesic or anti-inflammatories that is very important to stop it the 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 so that patients uh, uh, continue taking that uh, it's uh, very important i got to put here one example to in our practice uh, with the result of such treatments that is one patient of so have uh, 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 a vascular necrosis uh, in the two hips uh, that's have uh, 64 years but uh, we 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 studied to that patient and we discovered to have uh, osteoporosis first beginning the treatment of the osteoporosis and uh, beginning to put the first doses bilateral doses of, of stem cells uh, of same uh, with the time, the patient, uh, this is period, as we say to us, uh, we went to put one prosthesis. And we put the prosthesis to, to knee left and continue with the, the knee, the hip right, and continue uh, the results. And I want you to see here the difference between one time, the first time to, to applicate the, the stem cells in, in the right uh, hip and see the results exactly to recomposition of the of the surface you see here the difference the the level and goes here now and the remodelation of the bone is uh, the characteristic most important and he see the 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 obtained the, that's uh, is the specimen of the first processes and we see here the uh, the response of, of the cartilage, the new cartilage, we can uh, uh, do in the pathologic study, but uh, we stand here have the response, the first response to the to the cartilage to the uh, stem cells. That is other example. That's uh, in that example have uh, one uh, uh, case of uh, osteoarthritis of uh, the uh, of the uh, articular um, of the first metacarpal um, and here you see kids that's kids uh, uh, with the, the symptoms of the patient are impossible to do to have uh, uh, the option of uh, use uh, the mouse or the computer uh, and no can use their hand the 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 problem to to the activities on the daily uh, life is very difficult. We put here the in, in that year, 2012, the first dosage, and put one second dosage, and you see here the change. And you see, you see go, uh, the kiss uh, is out, and the functional action of the patient in that year. You see here, sustain the, the results uh, and support the results and have the satisfaction. Now, uh, the future uh, in, this, in, in, in the osteoarthritis, in this type of uh, cases treatment with the stem cells, uh, uh, increase the, the impression 3D. And now, beginning to, to doing that new prosthesis, and that's uh, uh, medical devices beginning to work uh, in the prosthesis, uh, personal and personalized uh, uh, model, and that is the future exactly. But uh, how can doing that? Uh, that's uh, uh, prosthesis. Well, we need the creation of uh, article, uh, artificial cartilage, with the recurrent three, three elements: uh, stem cells, biological uh, factors. Uh, to have to grow uh, to the cartilage and, and one uh, scaffold. That's it's here where the beginning us to work. What can doing in in that uh, reports to help to us to understand exactly what we're doing, and we select uh, exactly uh, 
one polymer, and that polymer is uh, the polycaprolactone. The polycaprolactone is the more specific and more um, have more supports to help to us to to the to the practice in in trial clinicals and have uh, results in in the in the human uh, uh, have uh, reports to uh, approximately two years disappear anything con uh, existence to the to the polycapro polycaprolactone and beginning to to increase uh, the system harvest with the uh, beyond pressure 3d and uh, analysis the engineering strategy uh, and that's uh, we uh, need a product one uh, scaffold to support exactly uh, so, so have uh, uh, one uh, uh, area specific when the stem cells not not suffer uh, apoptosis is very important so have a movement and continue the the development to the to the conditions and f uh, influence in the nano cells uh, allowed to cells uh, to circulate and not trap and not die that is very important to have uh, uh, one the condition to uh, adapt it, uh, at the scaffold and that procedure uh, is uh, applied uh, in in the diagnosis when we have lost uh, one surface of uh, cartilage. From that, use it uh, MRI, and we need uh, doing one le lecture with uh, one uh, program uh, of mimic. Mimic is uh, doing the fragmentation of that uh, image and give exactly. The, the size and dimension of the area, uh, where, so we need uh, repair. If, if you see here the uh, red area market, that is the, the cartilage here. Uh, uh, so we need to extend exactly the dimension to the area of damage. Not this only, uh, uh, so what we see here, because here, is the cartilage is lost, but is here beginning lost the, the cartilage, and that area too is very important repair, or the results are very good, and we need to send exactly the type of bioprinting, and in this case the uh, regimat uh, built for us one uh, special uh, bioprinting. That's uh, with that uh, we use it the polycaprolactone and influence the, and uh, manufacturing one scaffold is in, in the form exactly so have the lesion and put uh, uh, two two aditaments from uh, involved on fibrin and that fibrin in impact into the bone with the two holes small holes of one millimeter with a um, brown broke uh, doing the the the, the holes put into the the, the that's two supports including the, the fibrin and with that's a bit the scaffold outside or remove and that's uh, is the form to to maintain exactly in that point it's very important to to maintain the the, the scaffold in the area and that's included in the in the lesion by the arthroscopy technique uh, is very small and simple procedure and that's helped to the patient no, no can uh, recuperate very very quickly and have movement immediately and can begin to doing support uh, an effect of church uh, to the to the scaffold and beginning the movement immediately uh, is uh, one technique very easy we want to begin in the first case uh, next year. Lamentable no have the first case. I, I, I try to, but uh, uh, circumstance we can have the first case. And it's very important to remember. So we need to have very clear exactly when put one patient on the level of uh, treatments and different treatments of therapeutic to, to the osteoarthritis. And uh, we need exactly put when can uh, use that type of treatments. We need the first cross, 
the lines of each step uh, progress with the patients. We combine it with uh, a, a combination of uh, arthroscopy and therapy uh, is too very important to help to this patient. And the, all that techniques uh, and technologies help exactly to doing the results what pretend obtained with uh, that system. Um, now to finish, I want to present one uh, image to Mexico. Um, now you see here the the movement of the next uh, day of that. It's one day of we celebrate very high. Uh, we have uh, we see here the volcans. Uh, that is the Popocatépetl and Iztaccíhuatl. Uh, you know the the Azteca uh, soul. Uh, Bellas Artes is uh, one construction very, very nice. And Teotihuacan, uh, beginning the, the place. Here see other, other view. And the one palace of uh, Michoacan, and that is Querétaro. Querétaro, that is the uh, very nice city. I invite you to visit one time uh, what you have. Uh, we are received for us and all the uh, all the people of Mexico and Querétaro and thank you very much by your attention uh, and see you.